Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lost Words Beyond the Page. Last time we left off, we had a... Basically an entire chapter of just riding on a whale and talking about our problems. Get some therapy in there. Journal. The funeral was today. Mum and Dad dressed all in black. They even bought a black romper for Ben. No. I didn't want to wear black. So what'd you wear? Grand thought black was depressing. That life was... dark enough already. Gran... always... used to... say... Gran always used to say... Colors are the music of nature. I agree. Colors are the music of nature. I'm starting to see what she meant. This is why I like colorful games and games that use the color well. That being said, uh, uh, goth style is also very cool. So I'm I'm down with black. So you know I like I like both. So I went to open my wardrobe. There it was. I hadn't worn it for years. I remember Gran saying it was... cheery. This is nice. I like this. You're gonna wear something like this because this is what Grandma would have wanted you to wear. The funeral was outside. In the memorial garden. The sun was shining. The birds were singing. It was like they didn't know. Hmm. God, that's a beautiful image. Like, look, even the leaves falling in the background. Ugh. This game does so many cool things with art, and like the sunbeams over here. Ugh. It's too good. The vicar had just started talking when Uncle Alan stepped into the fish pond. Mum frowned. Ben started crying. Why'd you step into the, the fish pond, Uncle Alan? Uncle Alan yelled. I couldn't help but imagine. Everyone looked. Cran caring more about the fish than Uncle Alan. See, these are what you want. You want the nice memories. This is this is how a funeral's supposed to go. Here. Thinking about all the nice it's times. Just stuck in my head. Gran running to the drenched Uncle Alan. Grumbling at him for frightening the fish. How dare you frighten the fish? It was too much. The laughter bubbled up inside me. Uh-oh. Dad tried to look annoyed. Can I get up there? Okay, we can jump higher because the bubbles. But I caught him smiling. After the vicar. Finally finished. Droning on. Stay calm, Izzy. They started the singing. Breathe. All. Oh. Things. Bright. And beauty full. Ben started wailing. No, howling. Dad took him out. Well played, Ben. Singing at a funeral? I don't. I don't think I've ever done that at a funeral. The laughing felt much better than crying. Especially playing as a. Boring old song, singing with everybody. The wake was at our place. There were so many people. I didn't know most of them. Everyone said how sorry they were. Just shows you how much, uh, how many people that uh, your grand knew. How grand was. 
such a wonderful lady. Barbara was so inquisitive. I wish she could have heard them. The whole world interested her. She was so open and kind. No, I want to get up there. Want to get up there. There we go. Even if sometimes you'd rather she didn't. She always paid attention to you, even if sometimes you'd rather she didn't. They broke the mold when they made Barb. No. Cute. Everyone had a story about Gran. Mm hmm. Like the time she hit a bully with her pencil box? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Beat his ass, Gran. Oh, when she saved a toad that had hurt its leg. No. Oh. Or how she decorated Mum's room like an underwater kingdom. So she could feel like a mermaid. That sounds awesome. I'd get that done today as an adult. That's so like her. As a 27-year-old man, I would get my, my room painted like an underwater kingdom and no one can stop me. One old lady told me how they used to bunk off work and go to the Glastonbury Music Festival. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to uh, use this as a platform. Another of her friends said Gran once got arrested. Got arrested? Gran! Really? Then Mum covered my ears. What'd she get arrested for? It sounds like a Woodstock festival. While protesting whaling. They even partied with Van Morrison. I don't know who that is. I'm not good with, like, celebrities slash artists. Hippie Gran, yeah, while protesting whaling. Yeah, Hippie Gran. Whales don't deserve I to be whaled. I this day to be terrible, Journal. And it was. But... I didn't expect to smile or laugh, to be surprised, to feel happy that people loved Gran like I did. Sounds like a very special Each person. Time I heard a story about Gran, I could imagine her laughing along with it. Oh. It was like she was there with me. Helping me through it. Oop. Oh. Uh, what, what am I hitting there? I'm like hitting the crease of the page. Huh? Okay. Can I? No. Yeah, see, there's like a little invisible wall there. That's blocking me. Making it kind of hard to platform across these words like I feel like it wants me to. Oh. Okay. There's like an invisible platform right there, but it's fine. I made it. I still feel in pieces, Journal. Okay, mm. I feel like this is like your back, Maybe like right there. Maybe there's a part of me that will always be sad. That will always miss her. There will be, but. It gets easier, like your dad said. But maybe... That's okay. And that's the way... It should be. Mm, well, the heart's cut out. I don't like that the heart's cut out. That makes me sad. Okay, can you, can you land on okay? There we go. <laughs> there we are. I don't know what happens after we die. No one does. But I think I know where we go. Into all the people who have ever cared about us. That's a nice way to think about it. We make a sort of place.
for them in our hearts. When I was a kid, I used to always hope that we went to the world of Pokemon when we died because I wanted to be a Pokemon master. <laughs> I honestly just always hoped any time. Like when I was a kid, I would always be like, Oh man, I hope I wake up today and I'm in the world of Pokemon. Just get Isekai'd into it. I need to finish Robin's story. Mm-hmm. Gran would want me to. I want me to. I think I know what to do now. Let's do it. Let's summarize. After the dragon attacked her village, the playful Robin set out to return the fireflies. Mm hmm. On her travels, she met a grumpy djinn guarding a fallen city of philosophers. That she did. I like the and grumpy djinn. Found a misunderstood fire creature named Lump. Rest in peace, Lump. They became friends. But then, Lump chose to stay behind with the Ancient Ones in exchange for the gift of water breathing. Yup. Deep under the water, inside the lost Seekin Palace, Chased by the shadow of remorse. Oh yeah, I feel like I feel like I need to need to uh, say that I got an achievement called No Remorse or No Regrets for knocking over all of the frozen sea kin. <laughs> and I'm like, no, don't make me feel bad. Robin had her big moment of doubt. Big pupper. But she pulled through it all. We're gonna skip over the the whale part. Now she's ready to face the dragon. And now she is ready to face the dragon. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. I'm ready. I got this. Robin's got this. We got this. Holy beautiful. Oh, I want snow. You. I thought I couldn't face you. But I couldn't face myself. I know you'll always be there. And maybe that's okay. You're part of this adventure. Part of me. Thank you. No, use them as a mount. Now. Damn. I will return the fireflies. I'm coming for you, dragon. Let's go. Renewed, a newfound power coursed through. Oh, hey, we got swap and ignore back. I don't think swap would be very useful. Anything? Anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we can rise this. Go ahead and get that. One of 40. Okay, this is a longer level, it seems. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Oh, now we probably need to repair you. And then push you over here so that I can get another firefly. Like cutting through. Eldorado's crab apple pie. The world welcomes her. Okay, well, we can just walk on these now. They're not scared of us anymore. There's not one down here, right? No. Just wanted to be sure. 
This feels like this might be the end here. Hmm. Am I just jumping? Yeah, okay. What's down here? Ooh, more fireflies. And I saw another one over here to the right. Yeah. No, you keep on rising. I didn't tell you to stop. Well, I did, but... Ignore that part, okay? Just ignore that part. <laughs> she felt that she could touch the sky. I mean, we probably can. We got Rise. Away with ye. Okay. A tall tower loomed overhead. Many moons had shone above since first it was built. Another obstacle? Ha! Just ignore it. Oh, that doesn't work. Break. Burn? Swap. Uh, ignore. No, we can't. Repair. Break. Rise. Uh, okay, how are we going to get past that? Okay, rise. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like... <laughs> I wasn't sure what, what to go with there. Alright, burn. Light all the torches. We gotta. Come on, it's a Zelda game. We'll get a we'll get a hidden treasure chest if we light them all. Uh I gotta rise now. Rise to the occasion. You really think that will stop me? Yeah, just a portcullis. Is this where the dragon's hanging out? Do we know this? Or are we just walking? We might just be walking. Oh. Um, okay, you don't want me to go that way unless I repair this. Right? Yeah. I mostly just wanted that thing down there. Crawl under this. And go over here. Hello, Firefly. We still... There's a lot of you in this level. That's like the highest count we've ever seen. Which... Ultra makes me think this is probably the end. And I mean... The narrative's, you know, hitting its climax now, I gotta say. We've... We've, uh... Accepted the passing of Gran. And everything. I wonder if there is a point in lighting these, or if I'm just doing it for no reason. Wait, what is... is that one too? No, that's not one. Repair? How do I get up there to that? Oh, those light on their own. Okay, we can't light those. <laughs> before her. No breath in its body, but no less terrifying. What am I doing here? So, oh, swap. Of course. So that's where swap comes comes in handy here. Oh, and now we rise. I was like, yeah, what are we going to use swap for? <clears throat> but with... I'm up to the task. For that. With the statue. All right, we're one. We got one fourth of the fireflies. I don't think I missed any in this area, at least. I know I've missed some in previous areas. Man, I'd be getting claustrophobic here right about now. I imagine the stone scraping against stone probably doesn't sound too great either. But oh well. What now? Well, we need to burn, and I need to go over here and get this other firefly. 
Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so let's swap with you. Cool. Oh, this is interesting. This is very cool. Wow, Endgame has a lot of really cool puzzles in it. Okay. All right, Endgame. Nothing's moving. Must be more to do. This is neat. I like this a lot. We got some cool stuff going on here. They're making good use of all these mechanics and combining them to create some pretty satisfying puzzles. Which I always like and is always good. Upsie daisy. They were just handing the fireflies to us in this room like they were candy. That's it. Yeah. Now the platforms are coming out. Yay, platforms. Who's a good platform? You are. Yes, you are. A gust of fresh air rewarded Robin's efforts. Mm-hmm. Did it. Thank you, fresh air. Boom. Alright. And up, up, up. And burn. And up. As she rose up the stairs. And up here. Uh, we gotta jump this way. Robin knew the tower's purpose. Wait, what is it? To watch over a long forgotten land should ancient evil stir. No statue this time. But bone. It's fire wreathed home. Wait. Oh, we're close. And here I come. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, that was quite a big jump. Are your legs okay? And it was a great idea. Oh, okay, never mind. Are there going to be any fireflies here that I'm going to have to jump for? Okay, no. Do I want to go down there? I did not want to go down there. Just in case you were wondering. That was not the solution. Well, maybe there'd be a firefly. Hidden. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to jump in that one. It probably doesn't have anything. Oh my god, that's the just a vertical drop. Darkened around Robin. She had reached the dragon's mountain. We went straight to the right though, wasn't it like in front of us? Is that an egg? For the first time, Robin felt no fear. She knew she had all she needed. Uh, well, don't swap. That would be a bad idea. I try to rise, repair, break, ignore? Oh, ignore the lava. Okay, I, I was thinking this is what we were interacting with, not the lava. Feels warm on my souls. Yeah, well, let's just ignore lava. That's, yeah, that works. Before her, a molten sea stretched into the distance. It did not slow her down. This lava can't oh, hurt me. I can't read. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you there. I didn't expect you to say something. Uh huh. Down here. And we gotta rise. Yeah, we certainly are getting these fireflies very swiftly. They're handing them out like crazy. Only 18 more to go. I definitely want to finish this chapter this episode, so this might be a bit of a longer episode. I wouldn't want to break my convention of finishing a chapter and episode. Suddenly, Robin no longer felt the heat. Yeah, now we're in a forest. I thought we were at a mountain. Like the dragon's mountain. Why are we still going? 
In its stead, a cold dread crept up her spine. Mm hmm. Why? Can I ask why? That was quite the climate change there. Did not expect that. Let's rise. Rise and rise. Okay. Jump. This looks like my village. Hmm, does. But yeah, they have the same kind of house. It can't be. Did it's we loop true. around the world? It has to be. An eerily familiar sight awaited her. It's a Genjutsu. That's my house. How? Eldereva. No. Wait. Come back. Oh, no. No, no. Don't fall for the Genjutsu. Emptiness remained. Only oh. emptiness remained. Okay, I thought I was supposed to jump off. The Are we going back? Raced ahead of her. This well, hello. Can't be real. A trick. I can't let it be real. Oh, I thought we were gonna break that. Do we just jump off? Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I didn't think that was going to be the solution, but here we are. Mm-hmm. I feel like this would have been a really cool idea for a VR game, kind of like Moss. Where you're like some spirit helping out uh, Robin on her adventure. And she just kind of walks and you do the things that allows her to progress and stuff. So wait, where do we go now? <clears throat> Was I not supposed to come down here? I might have missed something. I probably missed something. I think it was something to do with that thing. We saw like a bridge with a chain. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think if we walk off here, we die. Oh, no, we can get back up there. Ahead of her. Yeah, okay, and then I jumped off here. Ignore. Break. It doesn't have the stuff. Repair. Rise. Burn. Okay, wait, I'm confused. This is where the dialogue stopped. Raced ahead of her. Oh, wait, am I supposed to climb the train? Oh, I'm just supposed to climb the chain. Oh, it was way simpler than I thought. It was way simpler than I thought. How high does this go? Jeez. Hi, friend. Uh, fall down, actually. It's faster. There we go. You don't take fall damage, you're immune. She gripped the chain with furious determination. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Yeah, there's one up here. I like how fast she slides down it. Very I handy. Know you're there. Oh, now we're underwater. Roar all you like. It won't stop me. Uh, Gerald, can you come help me get this firefly? Oh, we're, in, we're underwater, so yeah, we can just rise and get that now. Cool. Torn between rage and regret. Yeah, we Robin did do a messed up thing there. Upwards. Kinda did a genocide, even if it was inadvertently. Boom. Uh, repair? That'll allow us to get over there. Yes, repair the coral reef that we destroyed. That was the other thing we did that was bad in this area. We destroyed a bit of nature. One of the most beautiful bits of it, too. Wait, did we just walk to the right now? Oh, okay, yeah, that's what we do. 
It's like reliving our adventure here. Yeah, we're even back over here. I think this is actually just a straight up reused area. Like uh, that bit with the coral reef was. Like I think I've collected that firefly before. Repair. Up here. Okay, there's nowhere to go over there. So let's just climb. Climb this strangely powerful vine that does not droop or sway or anything as we climb up it. It is locked in place, it is, this vine. Alright, I think I need to jump and grab you. But wait, there was another firefly up here. I thought this was progress, but it seems like no, this was the optional firefly. Okay, this is progress. Even through adversity within and without, her determination shone bright. She had grown. Mm hmm. Yeah, back here to the gin. Blah, 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 or whatever he said. I hope you find your peace. He also has regrets just like us. Where are you taking us? Oh, okay, we rise here. Gotcha. I was like, no? Never mind. Can we find something new if we go over here because you've risen the sands? Maybe that- okay, yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. Oh, hey, it's this area again. Hello, this area again. Uh, boom. Okay, another chain. <clears throat> Climb, climb, climb. Dun, do, do, do. All right, so over here, break, and keep climbing. Almost there. Chilling winds shook her to the bone. Still, she climbed. Yeah, we are almost at the top now. Got some snow. I love snow. I'm glad somebody put these chains in. Maybe the dragon installed them. I don't know why, but... Thank you anyway. Helping me out. Maybe he wants to fight me. Or she. Could be a lady Almost dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a not a thingy hiding up there. No. Let me through and let's finish this. I just imagine the dragon turning a crank to raise it <laughs> off of the background somewhere. Glad we're on the same page. Every Get it. Haha, <laughs> on the same page. Lost words beyond the page. We're in the storybook page. <laughs> Pushing against. Storm and snow. Please don't break bridge. That would be unideal. Defiant. Unwavering. One step after the other. Hello, you two. Remember you two? Oh. That's why I lost so <gasps> Lump! Lump! Pullman! How are you here? Not sure. I'm so glad to see you. After I left you, I tried to live up to what you'd done. But it was just so hard. Lump, see how far you come. You grown big. Lump did right thing. 
Don't go. Have to, Robin. But we'll always be there in the memory. I'll make sure to keep you there. Goodbye, little mum. No. No, at least we got to say goodbye one last time. Bye, Lump. Alright, we got a little thing we gotta rise here. We missed... Did we miss two fireflies? Because <clears throat> we're missing two, and this feels like... The showdown with the dragon. Robin readied herself for a confrontation. Can we get the 40th? Is it here? Firefly, firefly, wherefore art thou firefly? Right. This is it! Uh, hello, bit of an anticlimax. When she first set out, Robin wanted to return the sacred fireflies to their rightful home. But now she realized that, regardless of how her adventure ended, the journey had forever changed her. Standing there, she felt... Reflective. Reflective. Every choice, every hardship, and every challenge had been leading to this. No moment was wasted. It was a life lived, and it was hers. Come forth, dragon. Every twist and turn of my journey has led me to you. Oh, that's a cool reveal. I like that. Quick, poke him in the eye now. Punch. Oh. You missed your chance. Ponder this right in front of your face. You can't just tell me to leave. One person can make a difference. I know that now. You have been reading the wrong stories, little one. Sometimes things just end. Ignore. If you want to end this world, you're going to have to go through me. Yes. That's what I've been trying to do. Then it seems we are at an impasse. 
impasse. You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. And what is your solution, little one? I'm not sure. Probably for you to go away, or stop being a jerk. Fireflies, what are they really? Where do their power come from? where does their power come from? Historia, it's already dying, isn't it? Do you really want to do it? Destroy this world? <clears throat> I don't really feel like we're gonna get much out of finding out Historia is already dying. Fireflies, what are they really? Where does their power come from? Do you really want to do it? Destroy this world? That seems stupid, and that seems stupid. I'm gonna ask about this. This gives us, like, new information. The fireflies... What are they really? Where does their power come from? At first, I thought they could be destroyed, along with the rest of your world. But they couldn't. No. They are ancient. As am I. We are part of the same cycle. So the fireflies are the key to stopping you. There is no stopping until I am done. Then I can rest. Then I can dream. Until it begins again. You have had your one question. I have work to do. Please! All right. I've overcome so much to get here. I've had to face what I am. And what I'm not. It was a struggle. And I... I think it always will be. I am it can be yours too. You can change things. What? Why? You can't hurt me. I did not aim for you. Yeah, destroying everything around me, like the mountain. You're gonna melt it, basically. I love the color of your fire, by the way. Very nice. Learn to dream again. Hmm. So is the message we can't stop the inevitable? Some things are just inevitable and can't be changed. I'm guessing Astoria was probably already dying. That was probably going to be what what was going to happen, right? Hmm? Hi? What? What happened? Beats me. Was the world destroyed? Did we not have enough fireflies to stop it? Oh, hi. It's all gone. Gone. We're here. Why couldn't I do anything? Why couldn't I save it? 
There was nothing to be done. Everything has a time to go. Even worlds. But I don't want that. I feel like a failure. <laughs> That's silly. You didn't fail. Because you couldn't win. I couldn't. The dragon is part of the world cycle. It cannot be broken. Then, what was the point of all of this? I failed before I even started. You recovered the fireflies. Ancient energies born of the same cycle. Between you, them, and your book, <laughs> you'll work it out. Wait! What do you mean? We're going to make the new world, probably. Right? The old world had to be destroyed. There was nothing we could do about that, but... Do we get a hand in ushering in the new one? There was only one place left to look. Cool. Well, it's not the book. <laughs> I immediately thought the book, but that was not the answer. Hate to break it to me. Astoria was gone, but the fireflies still remained. Waiting for a new beginning. Yeah, we missed you're, nine. You're rebuilding the world, aren't you? And you're starting with my memories. Oh, look at the wolf! Look at the wolf pupper! Oh, look at the wolf pupper. He's so cute. I like that wolf. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. Well, this is neat. A fruitful work. Wait, 74 out of 120. Oh, so I... Oh, you're- you're using the fireflies to paint! So, we'll probably get to complete more stuff if we had more fireflies, right? We'll get a lump and the gin working together. But I only have enough for one more. I don't even know if I have enough for all of it. A remembrance of home. Oh no, I can't fill in the center! Because I didn't get all the fireflies. No, this is a cool idea though. I've run out of fireflies. We're stuck. There's still something missing. I got one firefly hey, left. You're still here, firefly. Can you help? That's it, firefly. Yes. Now you're ready for a new story. Okay, the game took pity and on me. I have to say goodbye too. Thank you, firefly. That's a neat ending, that you remake the world, basically. Bring it forth again, and it's based off of how many fireflies you got. I accidentally just killed myself. Whoops. Anticlimactic. Wow, that's a good sleeping nook. Oh wait, not that way. I think we're gonna go talk to Elder Ava, aren't we? I thought for a second it was going to be like, no, you can't have your house and Elder Ava back because you didn't get all the fireflies. It was going to be sad. I never thought I'd see you again. But you're not really here, are you? Unfortunately, she is not, I don't think. You didn't make it. You knew, didn't you? That you wouldn't. Yeah, that's why she passed passed the torch, I assume. That's why the firefly came to me. They knew too. So 
these are my memories of you. Hmm. Sadness. That's where you live now, isn't it? Within me. I'll hold you close. I'll take you with me. Let's see what adventures lie ahead. What lies ahead? That was a sweet ending. All the avatar, all the previous avatars live in you. Uh-oh, you're oh, older now. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Reading these dusty pages makes me feel old. I reread them so many times as a kid, taking myself back to those dark moments, reassuring myself it would all be okay. And that helped. You helped. I still miss Gran every day. Uh, my cat's like messing with the blinds now if you hear something in the background. Sometimes I hear her laugh in the back of my mind. Abby reminds me of her. Abby? Is that your daughter? Insatiably curious and fiercely independent. I hope she never loses that. Yep. Mom's coming to live with us for a bit. I hope her and Abby are going to make some memories of their own. They're already both obsessed with cat videos and Instasnap. <laughs> cat videos, always a good thing to Abby's be obsessed with. Abby's birthday is coming up. Maybe I'll get her a journal of her own. She says she wants to be a writer. Just like her ma'am. No. I always like getting to see our characters grow up at the end. See who they became. What happened to them and stuff. It's always really nice. And there we go! That was Lost Words. Wow. I knew this was going to be good. But I didn't really know it was going to be that good. That was a very, very good game. Like, this was absolutely fantastic and everyone that worked on this should feel great about what they accomplished because yeah what a what a crazy gym that deserves so much more because I have seen no one talk about this but it deserves to have so many people talking about it like I said I've tried to spread through word of mouth as much as I possibly can about this but it's Honestly, never enough. This game deserves a lot more coverage than it has gotten, and I'm at least happy that I was able to do my heart, uh, my heart, <laughs> my part, and introduce some people to it, because it deserves to be experienced, so. What just an absolute magnificent adventure. I felt so connected to all these characters, and was interested in where... Both of the uh, Gareth Coker. I feel like I've seen that name before. Are they a are they a big uh, musician? 
I feel like I've seen that name before. They've they've done some music for some other game I played. I can't remember what it is right now though. But yeah, what a magnificent adventure. What just wonderful art story. Like like I was about to say, I was Oh, Adult Izzy was also the whale shark. <laughs> Yeah, what well, is just a great adventure. I was into both stories, like the real world one and the fantasy one were both just absolutely fantastic. Even the real world one was incredibly sad most of the time. I meant to grab that, thank you. There's a little firefly, but yeah, what a what a great adventure. What an absolutely fantastic, heartwarming, and also heart-tearing adventure um, that deals with loss and getting over it and everything and it's just what a great message what a great way to show people how to cope with that and everything because it is really hard it is really hard and no one copes the same way but i feel like this game still showed very well what it's like to actually cope and what people are going through, and it was so neat to have our character experience all of this and then translate it into her writing as well. Just wow. Just wow. What a what a great what a great little adventure. This is why I love playing indies, because I would never have known about this if I didn't just stroll through the Steam pages looking for new stuff coming out. It may have been featured in, like, I don't know, like, maybe an indie sizzle reel done by Nintendo or something at some point, but it deserves so much more limelight than this, and it sucks how many indie games do get overlooked. Because I never would have found this otherwise. And this deserves to be played. This deserves to be experienced. So I'm glad, so happy I was able to. And it's why there will always, always be indie games played on this channel. <laughs> Always and forever. Because there's so many just wonderful games that you never would have played if you just stick with all the big titles. All the ones that blow up. Yeah. Just I'm 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 just I'm never gonna stop being being amazed with this one. This one was a gem. This is why I like playing adventure games and these types of games too, because I'm really big on story and the gameplay in this was entertaining. It wasn't crazy. They didn't they didn't do anything crazy with it. It was entertaining though. It kept me interested enough and the story kept me interested enough that I wanted to constantly follow up on it and keep going through the game as much as as much as I possibly could. I was always excited to record this. It was always fun. And that's really all you need out of a game. The gameplay doesn't need to be insane. The graphics don't need to be stunning high 4K resolution with a 144 hertz refresh rate like so, like what this game does with watercolor is just so beautiful it reminds me of what nintendo does with their games they usually have like a unique aesthetic and they just go with it and that's what makes nintendo's games and a lot of indie games just so cool to me because they can do the weird wacky things and sell them my father, Terry, who taught me the importance of grandmothers, and to Eileen and Jean, who showed me Rihanna Pratchett. Thanks to these people, Grandma and Ava. Wonder who all of these are. I don't think this game was kickstarted, so I don't think they're Kickstarter backers. I think these are just people that they feel they need to thank. Thank you and apologies to anyone who has helped out over the years in any way we may have missed. Special thanks. I need to get special thanks. I need to get special thanks. Come here, special thanks. Gotcha. A whale. Oh, there's another one. And everyone at Games Hub. I'm, I like that it seems like everyone's included here in the credits. If you want more from Sketch Sketchbook, please follow us on social media at Lost Words Game. I think I already am. Thank you for playing Lost Words Beyond the Page. You are very welcome. Thank you for making Lost Words Beyond the Page. This looks like it's going to clock in at about an hour, this video, but... I wanted to finish it. Um, and I like doing one chapter an episode, so yeah. Looks like that is it for our adventure in Lost Words Beyond the Page. 
what a fantastic playthrough. I don't think I can say anything else that I haven't said in the credits, so... Kind of like what Robin said before, I guess I'll see you in our next adventure. So, hope you've enjoyed. See you then.